So, I'm vlogging again, kind of. Although, now I remember why I don't do this with this camera. It's just not good for uh, these types of shots. But, but yeah, so anyway, I actually just felt like getting on camera and making a vlog yeah it just it, I just yeah can't talk <laughs> I guess just because I've been feeling a lot better yeah yeah f finally and yeah yeah so pretty much the problem I was having was I, if you watched my last video then you, you know all the stuff I've been uh, going through, uh, but yeah, ba basically it was just because I wasn't taking my acid reflux medicine uh, long enough. But no, hey, sorry, uh, I wasn't waiting long enough uh, after taking the uh, acid reflux medicine to eat yeah yeah just eating too soon uh after taking it uh and just waiting an extra 10 15 minutes i think made all the difference yeah yeah i could i was feeling so frustrated just because it's like what am i doing wrong why is this happening i'm I'm trying to do uh, everything that I was told to do. So, what what's going on? And yeah, it was just not enough time in between the meds or the pill, I guess, and eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am. Almost completely normal, normal, sure, yeah. Or back to how I was feeling. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I did have one day where it felt like everything was coming back and all the pain down here it was, felt like it was starting up again. But I, I think that was just because I over ate uh, for one dinner, I ate too much, and, and, yeah, yeah, that probably what caused it, and, and the, the next day, uh, I was feeling better, so, yeah, so yeah, still can't, yeah, 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 I just can't, like, overdo it with eating, smaller portions is a lot better so but yeah yeah so now that I'm feeling a lot better I've now been trying to uh, get out of my apartment but yeah this is past two months two and a half months something, something like that it's just I've been in my apartment the majority of that time, or, you know, at my parents' house. There are some days where uh, I didn't leave my apartment until four or five in the afternoon. Uh, that, that, that's not even an exaggeration. Yeah, I spent the whole day in my small apartment. Uh, just because it's not feeling good. Uh, I basically have to extend my arm all the way out just to get a good shot. But yeah, yeah, so now I've been trying to get out more and like taking walks. 
um, or uh, even going to see a movie. Yeah, I did that. So, and yeah, and then I have a couple other things that will get me out of the house uh, coming up. So, yeah, yeah, I just want to get this whole period behind me and hopefully never have to do it again. Yeah, like fingers crossed. And yeah, and also, I think I'm starting to realize that I need to get a new camera, a new video camera. Yeah, I, I just have to, what is it, bite the bullet? Is that the expression? And just buy one. Yeah, this one is, it's, it's fine, but I need to upgrade. Yeah, I get one that's easier to maybe vlog with or get one where I could like make a movie on and, and make my uh, YouTube vlogs look better. So, yeah. Yeah, I should think about doing that. Maybe do it after I get a job so I'll have money coming in when I have to spend a lot of money on the camera, but, but yeah, yeah, I should really, really just do it. Yeah, yeah, I may, maybe also some audio gear, like a, a good mic. I'm just recording off my video camera using the sound it recorded. Yeah, it's not always the best, so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think it's time for this camera to go. And I'm back again to finish out this vlog, I guess. Uh, I'm actually recording this, I think, two weeks after I filmed the, the first clip that you saw. Uh, I, I was going to use a, another video to finish this vlog, but uh, there's been a lot of stuff that has happened to me health-wise. Yeah, thought it'd be better to talk about that in this vlog than another one. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, so. Basically, right after I filmed the first part of this uh, video, uh, I tried going from two pills a day to one one pill a day, and I well it wasn't the first time I tried that. Uh, yeah, which I think I mentioned in my video. Mm -hmm. I, uh, last video from last month at this point now. Uh, yeah, I tried going from two pills a day to one pill a day and the symptoms almost immediately came back. And then the second time I did it, uh, I was feeling fine pretty much for a few days, but then <clears throat> the symptoms started uh, creeping back in, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that definitely not as intense as they were before, and, and not all of uh, my symptoms, but still there. Uh, instead of going back up to two pills a day, I decided to instead do two pills uh, a day, one day, and then take one pill the next day, and then two pills the day after that, and one pill, and repeat that. Yeah, and I, 
was doing that and then I ran out of my uh, prescription but I couldn't get a refill because at the pharmacy they said I was too soon to get the uh, prescription refilled uh, and yeah and, and it was only like two or three days early but yeah I couldn't get it refilled so I uh, actually went back to the 20 milligram uh, pills that the the uh, dissolvable in your mouth pills uh, yeah yeah I tr tried that and it, it seemed to be going well and I also had a, a follow-up appointment for my endoscopy endoscopy I never know how to pronounce that yeah it was actually was uh, uh, I some I don't know what I don't know what it's called uh, a health hospital or it was at like a gastro and uh, gastro and uh, gastro esophagus what whatever it was at yeah it was at uh, some health clinic which I actually didn't get my endoscopy with uh, yeah because my doctor what uh, when I went to the ER uh, he, he was concerned about me and he, he gave me uh, information for two places that I could uh, you know, get the camera shut down my esophagus uh, yeah and he, he just said just uh, get it as soon as possible whichever one has the opening first then take it so yeah I called uh, both of the places and went with the earlier available date uh, uh, but yeah my follow-up uh, was with the people I didn't get the procedure done with. They, they called me uh, and yeah, did the follow-up. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, even the doctor that I saw, saw he said that the uh, people I did the procedure with should have done a follow-up with me. So yeah, but but yeah, but it was still good to get the follow up because uh, he he went over my uh, results and said uh, everything seems underwhelming, which is good. Uh, he did not recommend surgery for me. Uh, yeah, just keep taking. The medicine which I could be doing for the rest of my life yeah but I'm hoping I can get it down uh, get get the medicine down to as few as possible like maybe only take it once a week better yet just take it when needed uh, which right right now I, it seems like I need it a lot <laughs> right now currently it, they have the symptoms have come back uh, and I did go up to 40 milligrams twice a day I, I got my prescription refill from the follow-up appointment yeah and um taking that twice a day but uh, hopefully I can just keep moving the doses dose edge down to like two times a day and two a day one a day uh, 
yeah, repeat that. And then go down to one a day. And then maybe every other day. Well, one till every other day. And yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and then maybe even less than that. That's what I'm hoping to do. If, if these symptoms would just stop. Because <laughs> it, yeah, I was feeling fine. And I made those, that video that you saw before this. And now I got, you know, little of that pressure pain right here. I'm not uh, coughing back up any food, which is good. That seems to have stopped completely. So yeah, that's good. But I do have some coughing and more saliva. Really frustrating because when these symptoms come back, uh, really all I can focus on. Uh, yeah, just take my concentration away from other stuff, which right now isn't really good because I'm supposed to be starting a new job. Yep, yeah, I got a new job. I think it's going to be my 50th job that I uh, had, had in my lifetime. But yeah, uh, I just wish these symptoms would, you know, either go away completely or get it under control and wouldn't bother me so much. Uh, I wish I could get, go back in time to November of last year and made sure that I was taking uh, my medicine and then waiting long enough before eating. Cause, yeah, yeah, I, I had a good month where I wasn't waiting long enough after taking the medicine to, to eat and that's what probably kept uh, all the symptoms from going away and get, and getting worse. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had just waited, yeah, ten to fifteen more minutes before eating then maybe all of these symptoms would be gone by now and I wouldn't have to deal with this. <laughs> uh, but can't go back in time. So just gotta focus on what I need to do in the present, which, which is basically what I've been doing, but yeah, it's, it's hard because it seems like I make one little change and things get out of whack, which, which, <laughs> which actually, if you think about it, kind of ties to autism. That, that's, that's a trait is, yeah. Uh, you, you need routine for a lot of people uh, who have autism. Uh, yeah, and, and if you change the routine, then it's not really good for them. For, for some people, I should say. But yeah, and apparently it's not good for acid reflux. But... <clears throat> Hopefully, if I just keep doing this, uh, it will get better. Yep, well, that's going to be it for this vlog. Until next time, goodbye.